so Zoom has released breakout sessions and breakout sessions in Zoom can be created either manually or automatically. Manually means that you're actually going to drag students into different breakout rooms and then um, automatically means that you're going to split up students semi-equally into breakout rooms. So when you want to start a breakout room, you're going to go to the bottom of the Zoom toolbar or if you're sharing your screen, you're going to want to go to the top of the Zoom toolbar and then use the pull down menu. But right now I'm going to click on um, breakout sessions and I have four other participants in this um, Zoom room right now and I can go ahead and select automatically and then I want to make sure that I enter the number of breakout rooms that I want participants automatically assigned to or I could select manually and that's where I could then drag participants into the breakout rooms and also if you do manually you're going to have a little more time. You don't have to actually move students into the breakout rooms right away where when you click automatically it's automatically going to send students to the breakout rooms. So I'm going to go ahead and stay with manually. I'm going to click on create session. Now I see I have session one and session two with no students in that session. I'm going to click on assign right next to session one and I'm going to put the two M's in session one. So I'm going to click on Margo and Michael and they're going to go into session one. I'm going to click on assign next to session two. I'm going to put Lindsay and Sean into that breakout room. That will happen once I click start all sessions. Before putting students into breakout rooms, make sure that you give them clear instructions as to what they should be doing in that breakout room. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click Start All Sessions. And you can see that Two participants have disappeared, three participants have disappeared, and I'm just waiting for one more student to go into their breakout session. Now if I look in session one, there's Margo and Michael. If I look in session two, there's Lindsay and Sean. Again, the recording is going to follow the instructor. So I'm going to click on join for session two. Go ahead and jump in there. Now I'm in session two and I can see there's Sean and Lindsay. They're doing their work or whatever I had them do. I'm going to go ahead and click on leave session two. While students are in breakout rooms, they're going to have a button where they can request your help if they need it so that you'll um, see that come right up on your screen and you can jump right in. Right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Stop All Sessions and bring everyone back to the main room. At the bottom of the breakout session screen, it's doing a countdown. So it's giving them some time to wrap up whatever it is they're doing. And now they're all coming back in to the primary session. waiting on two more. So that's pretty much it about uh, breakout rooms. If you have any other questions, um, 
let Sean or I know and we can um, help you out.